There is a huge variety of types of activities that clubs can involve themselves in. Um, clearly within the STEM areas, actually in the club, in the school, um, ranging from making cosmetics to building cars, um, but also inviting outside visitors in. It's so fun when all the visitors come in and we do activities with them and we get to see lots of different um, jobs in the STEM field that you wouldn't have thought of. We covered fireworks, uh, everything from pyrotechnics to um, crime investigation to trying to find out what's going on at the beginning of the Big Bang. It, it, it really spans everything. Well, we made truffles um, the last day, two, two days of term, which was really, really fun. And we got, we got to take them home and like share them with our family. So, be really careful, just dip the end in like that. Okay, and then dip it in here. Um, a lot of the activities just involve things you would have in a science department or a DT department. Um, and the fact that we've got a teacher from both is very easy because they've got access to those things. Um, and, and just sitting in front of Google, trying to find out things we can do um, and having a look for ideas that way. That's where most of our ideas actually come from. What we're doing is we're burning different metals um, and to see which colours they turn out to be. Sometimes I think science teachers can, including myself, can like you get overexcited about things which the kids don't really get excited about. So it's good to like remember that they love colourful things, um, they like disgusting things, so dissections. Um, they like anything which takes off or <laughs> explodes. Um, so yeah, anything which is exciting for kids really. We've got a teacher who loves fish breeding and he wanted to have a club where, where he was uh, imparting that knowledge to the students. We've got another teacher who uh, loves the telescopes and he's started his astro club for like-minded students. Well, we've got two STEM clubs here. We've got a junior STEM club and a senior STEM club and they run in slightly different ways. Um, the junior one is run by a different member of staff each week and they'll do a different activity. It'll be a one-off sort of fun, one-hour activity, something just to get the kids excited um, and it's quite self-contained and it's usually sort of quite hands-on and active. The senior club is slightly different. That's run by me every week um, at the same time as the juniors, um, but that's more long-term projects, so it's based on sort of an extended length of time where they will get to look at something in a lot more detail um, and produce some sort of project based around that. We don't have a set plan for every week. We tend to look at what upcoming events are happening. Also, we tend to look at um, if there's anything in particular that the students want to find out about, then we'll work in terms of that. The work that they initially did with water rockets was meant to be a filler, and it ended up going on for a, a term and a half, so that's like three months. We originally thought we were going to be really rigid. It's a two-year cycle. We can do everything again and repeat everything. But because we've kept all the students, we haven't. So we've got loads and loads of activities that we think, well, if we did that again, we could do this, this and this. The most fun thing about STEM Club is definitely the trips because you get to take part in different competitions, meet other schools and we go on certain exhibitions. So as well as doing things in school, there's a huge range of opportunities for doing things out of school and they can be very, very local. Uh, it could be a trip to a local company to see what's going on there, or it could be something a little bit further away. It could be a visit to a science centre or a museum. It could be an outdoor education centre. You know, there are lots of examples where the children have found that really, really engaging. We don't have to do the curriculum. We can just teach the kids whatever they enjoy, what we enjoy, and just keep science fun. Uh, it's all about engagement, keeping them as interested, and just having as much fun as possible.